Hello and welcome to Freeze Out, the quiz show where someone could be taking home £10,000 if they can answer general knowledge questions and master this icy battleground. Let's meet today's players. I'm Diane and I have a daughter called Tony. I'm Keith and I scored a goal at Wembley. I'm Michael, I'm a male stripper. I've also been a fire eater and a podium dancer. I'm Alan, I once had a job studying pink pigeons. I'm Hannah and I have webbed feet. Oh, there's so much I want to find out about you lot after that. OK, good luck, everyone. And let me tell you, they will need it because only one player can make it to our final and a chance to win that £10,000 jackpot. The rest will be frozen out and eliminated. And to ensure the rules are adhered to at all times, we're honoured to share the ice with former Premier League referee Uriah Rennie. Now, I touch Rennie over there is renowned for two things on this show, his icy stares and his very icy stares. So today's players, you have been warned. Ice Judge, it's over to you. Round one, smash out. This game is fast and furious. Here are the rules. Players will take turns to try and clear all seven blue sliders from the white circle. Answer the question correctly, and players can earn an orange slider, which they'll use to knock the blue ones out. The four players who clear the white circle in the fastest time go through to the next round. The slowest player will be frozen out and eliminated. Earlier today, there was a random draw to decide the order of play, and going first is Diane. Diane, <laughs> welcome to Freeze Out. Hi, yeah. You're here to try and win some big money. You will have 90 seconds maximum to clear that white circle of those blue sliders. If any of those blue sliders rebound off the far wall and come back into the white circle, you will have to clear them from play. Okay. Are you ready? Yes. Diane, your time will start on the ice judge's whistle. Flares, drain pipes and pantaloons are types of which garment? Trousers. Slide on. I'm going to make him an offer he can't refuse is a famous line from which 1972 film? I can't remember. The Godfather. According to the proverb, what is mightier than the sword? Pen. Slide on. What is the square root of 16? Four. Slide on. The phrase, Izzy Wizzy, let's get busy, is most associated with which TV bear? Um, can't remember. Sooty. In which country is the resort of Costa Brava? Spain. Slide on. When applying for a job, what does the abbreviation CV stand for? Curriculum vitae. Slide on. Sterling Moss and Ayrton Senna are famous names in which sport? Motor racing. Slide on. How many letter O's are there in the word zoology? Three. Slide on. Which TV soap is set in the fictional resort of Summer Bay? Home and Away. Slide on. Aberdeen Angus, Hereford and Frisian are breeds of which animal? Cow. Slide on. What was the surname of US Presidents Theodore and Franklin D? Roosevelt. Slide on. What word is used for the letter K in the international NATO phonetic alphabet? Kilo. Slide on. The dinosaur Triceratops has <laughs> how... Oh, you're done! You gave a little skip of joy. <laughs> Aisha Shreni, how fast was Diana's time? 78 seconds. 78 seconds. Will it be good enough is the question. Well done, Diane. Could we have our next player, please? Keith. Welcome to Freeze Out. Pleasure. The man who scored a goal at Wembley, was it against Germany in the World Cup final and then you woke up? No, no, it was in real life. It was at one of the last games at Wembley and it, we lost 5-2, but I still scored. Who's we? Well, I was, I was playing for a local insurance company in the local office in the regional competition. Oh, the glory days. Yeah, it was. Hopefully there's another glory day ahead of you today, but to stay in this competition, you have the time to beat is 78 seconds, set for Diane. Yep. If you do so, you're through to the next round. If you don't, you'll be in the danger zone. Your time will start on the ice judge's whistle. What is London's Billingsgate Market famous for selling? Fish. Slide on. The Wars of the Roses were fought between the houses of Lancaster and York in which century? 16th. 15th. The Iron Lady and the Milk Snatcher were nicknames of which British Prime Minister? Maggie Thatcher. Slide on. The DVLA is based in which country? Wales. Slide on. What is the name of the main acid found in lemons? Citric acid. Slide on. How many metres are there? Wow. You gave it some, didn't you? Yes. <laughs> Strong arms. Diane, I think, is feeling a little bit nervous because it's definitely fell a little bit faster than 78 seconds. And I'm pretty sure you're through to the next round, but let's get confirmation. I said, Rennie, how fast was Keith's time? 26 seconds. 26 seconds. Congratulations, Thank Keith. You. Well done. Can we have my next player, please? Michael, welcome to Freeze Out. Hi, Mark. You're going to be nice and warm today in your jersey, which is great. You're a male stripper. Actually, we do prefer clothing removal technician. 
Ah, very nice title. Yes, but ideally today you will continue this game fully clothed. <laughs> I, I mean, of course, we'd all like to see what's beneath, but not today. That's OK with not you. Today. You know what you've got to do today. Keep your clothes on and try and beat Diane 78 seconds to make sure you get through to the next round. Michael, your time will start on the ice judge's whistle. A lion appears in the logo for which major Hollywood MGM. film studio? Slide on. Which card game has varieties called five card stud and Texas Hold'em? Poker. Slide on. What is the capital city of Australia? Canberra. Slide on. Who won an Oscar for her performance in the title role of the film Erin Brockovich? Julia Roberts. Slide on. Aston Villa Football Club Clear. is based... What? You must work out. <laughs> wow, yes. That was quick. What was Michael's time? 21 seconds. Oh. 21 seconds, and he's still not excited. 21 seconds is almost impossible. Amazing sliding, Michael. Well done. You're through to the next round. Thank you. Fantastic stuff. Could we have our next player, please? Alan, welcome to Freeze Out. Thank you. I think the dust has settled after the last explosion yeah, that's set the of bar activity. Quite high. It has set the bar <laughs> quite high, but you've only got to worry about Diane's 78 seconds. Quickly before we move on, mm -hmm. pink pigeons. Yep. Never heard of a pink pigeon before? Yep. They're not the kind of pigeon I'm guessing you'll find in Trafalgar Square. No, I uh, worked in Mauritius for a while and was on a conservation project studying pink pigeons. So. What a nice yeah. place to go. It wasn't work. a bad job, no. But forget all thoughts of beaches and hot <laughs> weather and warm sea. It's all about the ice today okay. and all about 78 seconds. If you can get quicker than 78 seconds, okay. you're through to the next round. If you don't, then you're the one who'll be in the danger zone. Okay. Alan, your time will start on the ice judge's whistle. In which century was William Shakespeare born? 17th. 16th. Who became Chancellor of the Exchequer in 2010? Uh, George Osborne. Slide on. What is the official language of Brazil? Uh, Spanish. Portuguese. Who was the last British tennis player to win the ladies' singles title at Wimbledon? Pass. Virginia Wade. What was the first name of Nelson, the famous admiral? Uh, Pass. Horatio. Arrivederci means until we see each other again in which language? Italian. Slide on. Which car company has a logo consisting of four interlocking rings? Howdy. Slide on. To which country does the island of Martinique belong? France. Slide on. What does the U stand for in the acronym UFO? Unidentified. Slide on. Which TV sitcom is... <laughs> well done. <laughs> You had a little blip there at the start, yeah, but you found your rhythm. There. Well done, Alan. Thank you. Let's get confirmation of your time from my search okay. Rennie. What was Alan's time, please? 49 seconds. Good enough, Alan. Well done. Thank you. Can we please have our fifth and final player? Hannah, welcome to Freeze Out. Thanks, Your webbed feet, magnificent. Not yeah. required today, though. And you've probably got a very good indication of how to do this. Yeah, just about. First just round. About. The mobile protein shake over there absolutely <laughs> gave it some proper welly. You'll need to do the same. Diane, looking a little bit vulnerable at the moment, uh, but Hannah, if you can beat Diane's time of 78 seconds, you'll be through and still in with a chance of winning £10,000. If you're slower, you will not be through and you'll be frozen out. Okay. Hannah, your time will start on the ice judge's whistle. According to the proverb, which animal has nine lives? Cut. Slide on. Derived from the Greek for old age, which branch of medicine deals with the care of older people? Uh, geriatrics. Slide on. You can't handle the truth is a famous line from which 1992 film? Uh, pass. A few good men. Which sport uses a spider and a triangle? Uh, snooker. Slide on. Which jubilee did Queen Elizabeth II celebrate in 2012? Second. Diamond. The singer Shakira was born in which country? Uh, Colombia. Slide on. Handlebar and toothbrush are types of what facial feature? Mustache. Slide on. According to the traditional tale, Sleeping Beauty sleeps for how many years? 100. Slide on. Greenback is a nickname given to the currency of which country? Uh, USA. Slide on. How many days are there in three weeks? Uh, uh, 21. Slide on. Who starred as police lieutenant Frank Drebin in the Naked Gun films? It was Leslie Nielsen, but your time has been completed. You've got rid of all the blue sliders. So, Hannah, if your time is less than 78 seconds, you will be going through to the next round. And Diane will be frozen out. Ice Judge Rennie, what was Hannah's time, please? 55 seconds. Oh, well done, Hannah. I will shake Thank your you. hand. Good news for you. Not such good news for you, Diane. I'm afraid your time of 78 seconds wasn't quite good enough today. You did very well, but I guess you came across four master blasters, so it wasn't quite good enough today, Diane, yeah. so I'm afraid you have been frozen out. Thank you. So four players left and £10,000 up for grabs, but who's going all the way to the final? Join us after the break for more Freeze Out.
Welcome back to Freeze Out, where after our first round, four players are still standing around our frozen arena, but whose dreams of taking home £10,000 are about to slip through the ice? Keith, Michael, Allen or Hannes? Ice Judge, it's over to you. Round two, centre slide. In this game, each ring has a different value, starting at 10 points and ending up at 100 points for the red centre circle. Where the sliders end up after everyone has slid on to the ice will determine the number of points players can win, but only if they correctly answer a question. At the end of four passes, the player with the lowest score is eliminated. Keith, you're green and you're sliding on first. In your own time, when you're ready, slide on. Very dainty slide for a very beefy man. Well done, Keith. Excellent news. Over to another buff gateau over there. Michael, with your orange slider, when you're ready, slide on. Well done. 40 points. Alan, less okay. beefy, but equally macho. <laughs> when you're ready with your blue slider, slide on, please. Ooh, slightly overcooked. Hannah, when you're ready with your pink slider, slide on. Take that, boys. Oh! You had to go... <laughs> Poor old Keith over here. You blocked me off. You block Hannah off at your peril, Keith. Yeah, you absolutely. have learned that lesson. I've learned my lesson. <laughs> <laughs> but unfortunately, Hannah, it wasn't quite as good a result as you hoped for yourself. No. But I like the attitude. <laughs> it's spot on. OK, Keith, your green slider is now only in the 10-point zone, I'm afraid, thanks to Hannah's mischief over there. But here is your question for 10 points. Bruce Bogtrotter is a character from which children's book? The Gentle Giant. It's Matilda. So I'm afraid you've missed out on your ten points, but there is a long way to go, so no worry about that. OK, Michael, you are the orange slider. You kept out of all that trouble. You're in the 40-point zone. Here's your question for 40 points. In which country are the famous pyramids of Giza? Egypt. Is the right answer. Well done. You've got yourself 40 points. Alan, you slightly overcooked it, but you still landed in the 30-point zone, so here's okay. your question for 30 points. Which Irish-American dancer born in 1958 is best known for the show's River Dance and Lord of the Dance? Michael Flatley. No problem, that's the right answer. Well done. You've got yourself your 30 points. Great. And finally, Hannah, your pink slider, unfortunately, after your act of <laughs> naked aggression, ended up in the 10-point zone. Here is your question for 10 points. Which of Disney's seven dwarfs wears glasses? Doc. No problem. Big fan of dwarfs. That's the right answer. Well done. You've got your 10 points. So after our first pass, let's take stock of the scores. Michael, you're out in front with your 40 points. Alan, you're following close behind with 30 points. Hannah, you have your 10 points. And Keith, you yet to get off the mark with no points, but there's a long way to go in this round. OK, Michael, in the second pass, you're first to slide on with your orange slider. So in your own time, please slide on. Amazing technique there. I mean, had everything. Well done, you. That's in the 40 point ring at the moment. Alan, when you're ready with your blue slider, please slide on. Oh, look at that. A hundred pointer. So, Hannah, when you're ready with your pink slider, slide on. Ooh, oh, decided to keep out of trouble. <laughs> okay, well done. You're in the 30 point ring. Uh, finally, Keith, with your green slider, please slide on. Taken Alan out of the 100 pointer. Did he feel he had to do it? It was that they were asking to be knocked out, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys. So, Michael, your orange kept out of trouble again. So, for 40 points, here's your question Which British island hosts a famous annual TT motorcycle race? The Isle of Man. Thanks, Michael. Well done. You've got your 40 points. Okay, Alan, your blue slider is in the 20-point ring, having been in the 100-point ring, <laughs> thanks to our friend here on my left, Keith. You have 20 points to play for. Here's your question for 20 points. Is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Is the opening line to which classic song? Bohemian Rhapsody. No problems. That's the right answer. Well done. You've got your 20 points. So, Hannah, your pink slider is in the 30-point ring. Here's your question for 30 points. The cedar tree features on the national flag of which country? 
Lebanon. Is the right answer. Well done. 30 points to your tally. And finally, Keith, let's see if you can get off the mark. Your green slider caused havoc in the middle there, but it's landed in the 30-point ring. So here's your question to get off the mark for 30 points. In Greek mythology, who is depicted as having snakes for hair? Medusa. He found it. It's the right answer. Well done. It was in there somewhere, wasn't it? Was, it was, yeah. Well done. That's got your 30 points. You're underway. Thank you. So let's take stock of the leaderboard at the moment. Michael remains out in front with 80 points. Alan, you're in second place with 50 points. Hannah, you're in third place with your 40 points. And Keith, you're in that danger zone spot on 30 points. OK, on with the third pass. Alan, okay. your blue slider is first to side on. So when you're ready, okay. please side on. Slider. Uh, interesting. Were you mm. trying to keep out of the mischievous? Yeah, I wanted to, didn't want to make the same mistake again. <laughs> Hannah, when you're ready, with your pink slider, slide on. Oh, interesting. OK. Keith, when you're ready with your green slider, please slide on. Oh, Alan, you... I've been done again <laughs> by your arch nemesis. <laughs> <laughs> wow. OK, this is a running battle now. Right, Michael, when you're ready with your orange slider, please slide on. A lovely, lovely release. Very slow, very methodical. Well done, you. That's a, a good slide. We've all stood on, so let's get going with our questions. Alan, blue slider is in the 20-point ring. Curse again, I have to say, of Keith. I don't <laughs> want to keep highlighting this issue, <laughs> but it seems to be yeah. a bit of a recurring theme. But yes, here's your is. question for 20 points. Which Oscar-winning filmmaker directed the opening ceremony of the 2012 Olympic Games? Was it Guy Ritchie? I'm afraid that's not the right answer. It was Danny Boyle. An amazing day yeah. at the Olympic Stadium, wasn't it? But Danny Boyle put it all together. So I'm afraid you missed out on your 20 points there, Alan. Right, Hannah, your pink slider is actually not entirely sure where that is. I judge how many points we're we playing for on this one. Remember, if it's on the line, that black dot is on the line, will give you the higher amount of points. 40 points. Ooh. Ooh. Well done, Hannah. 40 points. Here's your question. Fistral Beach, famous for its surfing, is in which UK county? Cornwall. Is that a guess? It's a good guess. Yes. <laughs> well done. Cornwall is the right answer. You have 40 points. Let's move on to Keith, who was at the bottom of the pile at the start of this pass. Clearly, that black dot is in the 50-point ring, so well done to you. Here's potentially 50 vital points coming your way if you get this question correct. What is the longest side on a right-angle triangle called? The hypotenuse. Is the right answer. Alan is really not happy about that because <laughs> the amount of grief you've caused him and you're getting these questions right and suddenly Alan's the one who's looking like he's in major peril over there. OK, Michael, your orange slider is in the 40-point ring, so here's your question for 40 points. Who was the second man to set foot on the moon? Buzz Aldrin. Is the right answer. Well done. Not Neil Armstrong, of course. That is your 40 points in the bank, and you'll maintain your lead. OK, that completes the third pass. Let's take stock of the scores. Michael, you are still out in front with a very healthy 120 points. Hannah, you have 80 points. Keith, also 80 points. And now, Alan, somehow, despite some good sliding, you are <laughs> bottom of the pile with 50 points. Yep. So let's get going with the fourth and final pass. Remember, it's the person with the lowest score at the end of this pass who will be going home and frozen out. Hannah, when you're ready with your pink slider, slide on. OK, good slide, well done. Keith, when you're ready, with your green slider, please slide on. Oh, oh. he's intent on causing as much <laughs> mischief as he possibly can. Michael, when you're ready, with your orange slider, slide on. Good slide. Very consistent with your sliding. Well done, Michael. Now, Alan... Okay. Thinking all sorts of things. <laughs> what can you do? Your blue slider, last to slide on. When you're ready, give it a go. Sure. Oh, what a slide. When you really needed it. Bearing <laughs> in mind, you are at the bottom of the pile. Yeah. 
as we started this fourth and final pass. OK, let's see where this leads. Hannah, thanks to Keith over there, who is not the most chivalrous of gentlemen. <laughs> you are, I'm afraid, only in the ten-point ring, but here is your question for ten points. Igneous, sedimentary and metamorphic are the main three types of what? Rocks. Rock is the right answer. So you've earned yourself ten points. Keith, the arch destroyer on my left. <laughs> your green slider is in the 30-point zone. You feel no remorse? No. None at all? <laughs> wow. <laughs> You're ice-hearted. But if you get this 30-point question right, you are through to the next round, so good luck to you. Here is your question for 30 points. The song Raindrops Keep Falling On My Head was originally written for which 1969 film starring Paul Newman and Robert Redford? Butch Cassidy, The Sundance Kid. Is the right answer, Keith. You're through to the next round. You don't reap what you sow on this ice board, it would seem. Well done, Keith. Thank you. Michael, because of the way things have panned out, you're already through, so just enjoy this question for 50 points. Here's your question. What is the lightest element in the periodic table? Helium. It was hydrogen. You went for an H. There's another one. Don't worry. No problems. You're through already, so just enjoy the moment. Alan, you have a rather crucial moment in freeze out. We just need to see how many points you're playing for. I Judge Rennie, how many points is Alan playing for, please? 100 points. 100 points. If you get this question right, it's goodbye, Alan. OK. For 100 points, I still have to be in the hunt for £10,000. Here is your question. Which famous bear who lives in Nutwood wears a red jumper and yellow trousers? Is it Rupert? It's Rupert Bear for 100 points. The final question on the fourth pass of the second round. Ooh. You have come good when Big it matters, which relief. has spelled, <laughs> I'm afraid, doom and gloom for Hannah. Yeah. <laughs> Unfairly treated by Rupert the Bear and Keith <laughs> the Bear. <laughs> Hannah, how does that feel? It hurts. It hurts. <laughs> The indignity of it. Keith, any remorse yet that Hannah is on her way because of your skullduggery? Well, if we think back to the first pass, she <laughs> did set the tone. <laughs> ah, good point. He's got a long memory. He's got a long memory. You yeah. did start it. Yeah. Fair enough, <laughs> uh, I suppose, Keith. But anyway, I, I'm sure we'll all remain friends. That's the most important thing. But for the time being, Hannah, you will be leaving us. You are frozen out. Oh, the ice can be a cruel mistress, as Hannah has just found out. But three players still have £10,000 in their sights as we head into our next round. Who will be eliminated next? Find out after the break. <laughs> Welcome back to Freeze Out, where Keith, Michael and Alan are edging ever closer to a possible £10,000 jackpot. But how will they cope with a game that requires precision sliding? Ice Judge, it's over to you. Round three, Icebreaker. Opposite every player lies a coloured zone of ice made up of eight shards. Keith, you're sliding into blue. Michael, you're sliding into pink. And Alan, you're sliding into green. By buzzing in with a correct answer, players get the chance to slide onto one of their shards and remove it from the game. The first two players to remove all eight shards from their zone will go through to the next round. Of course, it's possible to remove more than one shard if they land on the lines between them, but beware, if they accidentally drift onto an opponent's shard, they'll be doing them a favour because that shard will also be removed. Fingers on the buzzers, everyone. Good luck to you all, and may the ice be with you. Which two colours make up the national flag of Japan? Michael, red and white is the right answer. Michael, when you're ready, please slide on into the pink zone. The first slide of this round, and I think you're just in single territory there. Here is your next question. In a professional kitchen, what name is given to the chef who ranks directly below head chef? Keith. Is a sous chef is the right answer. So when you're ready, slide into the blue zone, please. Try and see if you get rid of some shards. Well done. That's very clearly a single. You're underway. Well done. Who played scorekeeper George Dawes on the TV panel show Shooting Stars? <coughs> Alan. Matt Lucas. Is the right answer. So when you're ready, cool. slide into the green zone. Ooh, using the back wall, it's coming back. OK. Interesting. 
Hi, Serge Rennie, is that a single or a double? It's a single. Oh, very close. So it has close, to be so across close. the line, Alan. Yeah. It's just a single. Here is your next question. Pyrophobia is a fear of what? <laughs> Michael, fire is the right answer. Well done, Michael. When you're ready, slide into the pink zone. Seem like a good slide. With your very distinctive style, it's a double. It's amazing, Michael. You have the brawn of Rambo and the finesse of Darcy Bustle. <laughs> Powerful combo. <laughs> so, Michael, you've got five to go. Keith and Alan, you've got seven to go in your zones. Here's your next question. The philosopher Aristotle was born in which country? Keith, Greece is the right answer. Well done. When you're ready, please slide on into the blue zone. OK, using the back wall as well on the... Oh! Ice Judge Rennie, is that a single, a double, or is it a hat-trick? It's an hat-trick. It's a hat-trick, Keith. How amazing is that? What a slide. Three in one slide, which puts you out in front. Fingers on the buzzers, here's your question. How many presidents' heads are sculpted onto the side of Mount Rushmore? <laughs> Michael, four. Four was the right answer. Well buzzed in. Slide into your pink zone. Oh, oh trouble. Oh, no. Not happy about that, Michael. You have just gifted a single to Alan. Thank you very much, Michael. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck, everybody. Fingers back on the buzzers. Here we go. Here's your next question. Amontillado and Aloroso are types of what alcoholic drink? <laughs> Michael. Wine. It's not the right answer. You are frozen out. The right answer was sherry. So that means, Alan and Keith, you have a free slide. So in your own time, Alan, let's hope you can take advantage of that. Slide into the green zone. Six green shards still to be taken out. And that is a single. Well done, Alan. Right. Keith, can you also take advantage of Michael's generosity? When you're ready, please slide into the blue zone. That is a very good slide. Well done. A single for Keith. So, Keith, you've got three shards still to remove. Alan and Michael, you've got five apiece. Anything can happen, though. Doubles, singles, even a hat-tricks out there still. Good luck to you all. Let's have your next question. Who wrote the novels Animal Farm and Mi <laughs> Michael? George Orwell. And 1984 was the full question. George Orwell was the right answer. When you're ready, please slide on to the pink zone. Five still to remove. Looking up to the heavens for some inspiration. Good luck. Ah, you're using the back Wait, wall. Wait. No problem. Well done. It's a single. No doubt about that. Here's your next question. The comedians Dara O'Brien and Ed Byrne were born in which country? <laughs> Michael? Ireland. Is the right answer. Half your stars still remaining in your pink zone. Please slide on. OK, using the back wall. Good slide. Very secure. That's a single. The Whitney Houston hit, I Will Always Love You, was written by... <laughs> Keith? The Bodyguard. That is the wrong answer. The full question was, was written by which singer? Dolly Parton was the right answer. Keith, you are frozen out, which means you've gifted a free slide to Michael and to Alan. So, Michael, when you're ready... Too hard. Too hard. You're Stop. Is it? Oh, it is too hard. So, Keith, you've got away with it so far. Will Alan make you pay? Alan, when you're ready, please slide into the green zone. Quite nervous of those two blue ones. Try and block it out and just concentrate on your job, sure. which is that. Wow. Looks like an absolutely epic slide. We've had one hat trick already. I was just ready, this is a very big moment for Alan. Can you just tell us, is it a double or is it an hat trick? It's an hat trick. Wow. It can change just yeah. like that, can't it? Which means you're suddenly in the lead. You've only got two green shards remaining. Yep. OK. Fingers back on the buzzers. Here is your next question. The headquarters of fast food chain KFC are in which US state? <laughs> Keith. Kentucky. Is the right answer. Are you ready? Slide into the blue zone. Seriously intent. Look on your face there. Ah. Oh, Ice Judge Rennie, is that a single or a double for Keith? Please? A double. 
Keith, great slide, which means you just have one shard remaining, which means you're nearly through to the next mm. round of freeze out, and which means Michael and Alan are feeling a lot more nervous about life than they were a few seconds ago. <laughs> Here we go. In which sport would you compete for the Web Ellis Cup? Keith. Rugby Union. Is the right answer. OK, Keith, you've earned yourself the right to get rid of your final blue shard. Keith, when you're ready, slide into the blue zone. Is it going to slow down in time? Absolutely, it is, Keith. Well done. Well done. Round of applause from the other boys. That's a single. And that is your passport through to the next round. Well done, Keith. Thank you. The next person to get rid of all their shards will be going through to join Keith in the next round. Both of you, good luck. Fingers on the buzzers, please. Which TV series featured a car called The General Lee? Michael. Dukes of Hazard. Is the right answer. Uh, when you're ready, the pink zone has three shards left. Good luck. Side on. Going for that double. You've got a single. Well done. Which evens things up. Here's your next question. Which monarch was known as the Virgin Queen? Michael. Elizabeth I. Is the right answer. <laughs> your own time. Side of the pink zone. See if you can land it on that shard. Removed from the game. Move! It's moved Move. for you. The shout, the holler, did its work, <laughs> and it has got into the pink zone. Well done. That's a single. Which leaves you with just the one shard, but it is in a very treacherous spot over there. Mm -hmm. Here's your next question. Melton Mowbray in Leicestershire is most closely associated with which type of... Alan? Pork pies. Which type of food product? Pork pie is the right answer. You've got two green shards still to remove. Slide on. Has it got enough? It's yep. got enough. Oh, this is tense. That's a single. Both of you, fingers on your buzzers. Best of luck to you. Here is your question. Which pop star was born Gordon Sumner in... Michael? Sting. In 1951, Sting is the right answer. OK, it's very simple. It's do or die, make or break. When you're ready, slide on. OK, fingers on the buzzers. Here is your next question. What is President Obama's middle name? Alan. Hussein. It's the right answer. Best of luck to you when you're ready. Slide into the green zone. Drop. That's the one. Wow. After a proper ding-dong, Alan, that is in the green zone. That is a single, and that Ooh. is your ticket to the next round. Brilliant, Michael. Oh, you Careful. must be kicking yourself. What a great competition. It's been great having you here. You've been a real addition to Freeze Out, but I'm afraid you're frozen out. So it was heartbreak for Michael in our icebreaker game, but double delight for Keith and Alan, who are heading into the final and could win a massive £10,000. Join us after the break to find out what happens when they go head to head. Welcome back to Freeze Out, where tension is high because Keith and Alan are on the brink of making it through to the final, where one of them could win £10,000. I know that Ice Judge Rennie is desperate to give away that jackpot, so let's get sliding. Ice Judge Rennie, it's over to you. Round four, face off. In this game, players buzz in to answer questions, answer correctly and they can slide on immediately, answer incorrectly, they are frozen out and their opponent will be given a free slide. The winner is the player with the most sliders in the centre circle at the end of two minutes. And in this game, players can knock their opponents out of the circle at any time. Fingers on the buzzers. Let's get playing. I'll ask my first question, of course, on the ice judge's whistle. In the UK, by what name is the lower house in the Houses of Parliament popularly known? Keith. House of Commons. Correct. Slide on. Large tidal waves are commonly known by which Japanese... Tsunami. Alan, Japanese word, tsunami is the right answer. Slide on. Transylvania is a region of which European... Keith? Romania. Slide on. Which comedian wrote the Fanimal series of books? Alan. Ricky Gervais. Is the right answer. Slide on. Which European country's national anthem is called the Marseillaise? Keith. France. Correct. Slide on. 
Which actress shaved her head to play the lead role in the film V for Vendetta? Alan. Ashley Portman. Is the right answer side on? Until 2008, Fidel Castro served as president of which Caribbean country? Keith? Cuba. Cuba's the right answer side on. In the Mr. Men books, what color is Mr. Happy? Keith? Yellow. Is the right answer side on? Which rubber faced comedian starred as Mr. Bean? Alan. Rowan Atkinson. Is the right answer side on? What was Daniel Craig's first film as James Bond? Keith. Quantum of Solace. Is the wrong answer your frozen out free slide, Alan? Slide on. The right answer was Casino Royale. In physics, what does the abbreviation AC stand for? Keith. Alternating current. Is the right answer. Slide on. What colour is the cross on the national flag of Finland? Keith. Blue. Slide on. Oh. Just out of time, and I think it spells bad news for Alan and good news for Keith. You have, it looks to me, one blue slider in the golden circle. But let's just get the final result from Aisha Dreni. Aisha Dreni, who's our winner? Keith, 1 0. Well done, Keith. <laughs> Another seesaw battle. You won the yeah. last one, Alan. It wasn't to be this time no. around. How are you feeling? Pretty good, it's, but uh, I'm glad to have got this far anyway. Alan, after all you've been through, I'm afraid. You finally met your match here in this final game, so you have been frozen out. So Keith has seen off all his rivals, but can he now win some big money? Let's find out. It's the freeze-out final. I'm going to ask Keith 60 seconds of questions. For each correct answer, he will earn one slider. And the more sliders he has after one minute, the greater chance he'll have of taking home £10,000. Keith, are you ready? Yes. OK, good luck to you. Let's win you some sliders. Keith, your time will start on the ice judge's whistle. How many standard bottles of champagne are there in a magnum? Five. Two. Which 1980 horror film famously includes the line, here's Johnny? Pass. The Shining. Who wrote the poem which begins, Tiger, Tiger, Burning Bright? Roald Dahl. William Blake. What type of animal character is Sean, who made his big screen debut in 2015? Sheep. Correct. What does the DC stand for in Washington, DC? District of Columbia. Correct. Sea Biscuit and Desert Orchid are famous names in which sport? Horse racing. Correct. Which Spanish artist's works include the persistence of memory and swans reflecting elephants? Roald Dahl. Salvador Dali. How many countries are there in the UK? Four. Correct. What type of flower is a lady slipper? Rose. Orchid. Specifically, a panda's diet is almost exclusively made up of what? Bamboo. Correct. San Moritz and closest are ski resorts in which country? Switzerland. Correct. What is three-fifths expressed as a decimal? 0.6. Correct. Which country is formed from islands including Honshu? I'm afraid the whistle is gone. Honshu and Hokkaido, that was Japan. You had a sticky start, mm. but you came good. You <laughs> found your rhythm, and that's all we needed, and I think you've got some good sliders to go forward with. Aisha Dreni, how many sliders has Keith earned? Seven sliders. Seven sliders, excellent. <laughs> that is plenty to be going on with. So, let's reveal our final ice ball. Now, Keith needs to land a slider in each of these rings in order, starting with the 500 pound ring and working his way towards 10,000 at the center. After every successful slide, Keith will have a big decision to make. Does he cash out and walk away with the money he's already banked? or risk it all by playing on. Just tell me how you're feeling at this stage. You, you, you haven't had too much of a rough ride. You've, you've coasted through a few of the rounds. You've played some aggressive stuff. You've played some subtle stuff. How are you feeling at the moment? Well, I'm just nervous of, of having the soft touch for this one. Most of my other game has been on, on aggressive, hard pushing. So it'll be nice to see a contrast. I'm sure you're gonna get some big money here. You've got seven sliders with which to try and do it. So when you're ready with your first slider, let's get that 500 ring slide on. That is a perfect first slide. <laughs> now you can relax. OK, you've got 500 pounds. Absolutely sorted. We'll get that slider back. So you've still got seven sliders. I do have to ask you, though, do you want to cash out, take that 500 pounds, or do you want to play on and slide on? No, I'll play on and slide on. Thank you. The next ring is worth a thousand pounds. If you get to that thousand pound ring, whatever happens after that, you will take home that thousand pounds. OK, when you're ready, take your slider. 
and slide on into that blue ring for a thousand pounds. Go on, go on, go on. Excellent. I don't think we need ice judge ready there. That is definitely two out of two. You've got the thousand pounds. Keith, this is going okay, isn't it? It's not bad. <laughs> not bad. Rubbing your hands. Ooh. Okay, I know you're feeling very nervous at this mm. moment in time. You've still got your seven sliders. There's nothing to lose here. You've got a thousand pounds, it's guaranteed. Let's try and get into that purple two thousand pound ring when you're ready with one of your seven sliders to slide <laughs> on. Ooh. Very close, but not quite good enough. As you can see, that slider has gone into the 4,000 yeah. ring. So I'm afraid we removed that slider from the game, but you've still got six sliders. Let's get you some more money if we possibly can. Six sliders. That 2,000 pound ring awaits. When you're ready, slide on. Let's double that money. Come on. Oh, OK, you've kind of made the same mistake twice, haven't you? Mm, so yeah. hopefully you've learned from that. Five sliders remain. So Keith, let's get that 2,000. When you're ready, slide on. Again. Okay, you've seen exactly what you need to do, but there's nothing to lose as well. When you're ready, with your next side, please side on. Come on, Keith. That looks more like it. Okay, all is not lost. Three sides remaining. You've had two to the right, one long. This one is the one that's going to be spot on. Come on, let's go for it. £2,000. Go on, stop! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> you were beginning to get worried there. Yeah, I was. I thought it was too hard. It wasn't. You absolutely nailed that slider. Well done. That is £2,000. Well done, Keith. Now, I have to ask you, what is a tricky question? You've got £2,000. You've just doubled your money. But there is a rather tantalising blue mm. ring next, which has the number 4000 in it. You've got three sliders left. You could go for £4,000. I'm going to ask you the question in a minute. What are your thoughts? I think that I learned enough off the last three to be able to get 4,000 from these three, I think. Wow. Yeah. Great fighting talk. <laughs> OK, let me quickly answer that question to confirm. Are you going to cash out or slide on? I'm going to slide on. OK, good luck. When you're ready, three sliders left. Let's get that £4,000. Slide on. <laughs> OK, you learned a bit from that. Excellent. You've decided to go on now. Of course, there's no turning back. You'll either get the 4,000 or you'll go back to the 1,000 pounds. Yeah. So good luck to you. Slide on. Be the one. Be the one. Oh, OK. That is tantalisingly close to 4,000 pounds. We need to check that the slide is in the correct ring and no part has crossed the line. If it's on the line, absolutely fine. If it's crossed the line, it's not. I Judge Rennie, tell us what we want to hear. Is it good or no good? It's no good. How close must that have been? But all is not lost, as it's down to this one last remaining slider, which has been delivered by our very generous Ice Judge, who just deprived you of £4,000 in his <laughs> ruling. So, Keith... The very best of luck to you. That was so close. Try and nail this one. Good luck to you when you're ready. Slide on. Go on, go on, go on! <laughs> ah, look, you yeah. took a very brave decision there and you thought you felt good, didn't you? And you were so close to £4,000, but unfortunately, owing to the miserliness of our friend over there, <laughs> He called it that it wasn't £4,000, and he was right, unfortunately. But nonetheless, you've got £1,000, which is great. Have you enjoyed your freeze-out experience? It has been absolutely fabulous. Yes, I've really enjoyed it. Thank we you. We have loved, absolutely loved having you. You've been a mixture of everything, really. You were the aggressive <laughs> man, and you were the friendly man, and then you were nearly the ultimate winning man. So well done, Keith. Thank, Thank you for Thank joining you, us on Freeze Out. Thank you. So Keith is leaving with £1,000, but join us next time when five new players will be on the ice and hoping to slide all the way to our 10 grand jackpot. Thanks for watching, and for myself and Ice Judge Rennie, it's goodbye.